I'm Ian Panel for ABC News at one of the main Taliban prisons inside Afghanistan. These men have been held here on terrorist charges, accused of laying bombs, attacking Afghan security forces, civilians, and of course, the American-led coalition. Some of them will serve decades inside this prison. Others, some of the men that you're looking at right now, have been sentenced to death. What they say they're doing, though, is fighting for Afghanistan. They say they're fighting because foreign armies have come to their country. They're fighting, essentially, an occupation. I asked them about the recent ceasefire. They both said they weren't surprised by this. They were pleased that the ceasefire had happened. But they were categoric that there'd be no extension of it. In other words, the Taliban wouldn't be prepared to lay down their arms unless there was a plan for foreign armies to leave their country. They said they didn't have a problem with Afghan security forces. They don't have a problem with the Afghan government. Their issue is with the foreigners. And unless that's dealt with, then they will go back to the trenches and carry on fighting. They said they didn't care how long it lasted, whether it was 10, 20, 30 years or more. They've got a very keen sense of history. Other invading armies, other foreigners who come to their country without being invited, and they'll carry on fighting until they get rid of them. I'm Ian Panel in one of the main prisons inside Afghanistan where Taliban prisoners are held for ABC News.